This award goes to Jennifer Doudna of the University of California, Berkeley. The citation reads, for co-inventing the technology for efficient site-specific genome engineering and editing using the CRISPR-Cas9 nucleases. This transformative technology offers unparalleled potential for modifying genomes and has enabled and stimulated diverse experiments that were never before simple to conduct or possible to conceive. So CRISPR-Cas9 is a special bacterial immune system that combines a two-nuclei nucleic acid guide, which is CRISPR, and a protein, Cas9, that is capable of cutting the DNA sequences of invading viruses. The Doudna Charpentier team devised a way to link the two CRISPR pro, uh, portions at the molecular level, thus simplifying the system and vastly increasing uh, the ease of use of this technology and also emphasizing, I think, the close connection of chemistry and, and, and biology uh, in this work. In a eureka moment, the scientists realized that this cellular defense system might be used to edit genomes, not just kill viruses. Pieces of DNA can be deleted or added, just as a film editor might cut a film and splice in the new frames. This is considered to be one of the most significant discoveries in the history of biology, leading to applications ranging from fundamental protein research to treatments for diseases including sickle cell anemia, cystic fibrosis, Huntington's disease, and HIV. Besides her scientific contributions, I think it's important to say that Jennifer has met internationally to discuss the implications and regulations of genome editing in agriculture and the environment. With Sam Sternberg, she wrote about her experience grappling with the societal implications of genome editing in a book entitled A Crack in Creation. So I'd like to ask you to join me in congratulating Jennifer for her commitment to society and for this important award. Thank you, Bob, and I'd certainly like to thank Alana Shepharts, the chair of the Selection Committee and the National Academy of Sciences for this incredible award. I'm deeply honored to receive it. And for me, this uh, Chemical Sciences Award represents the joy of doing fundamental research and asking mechanistic questions that lead in un unexpected directions. I grew up in a small town in Hawaii with nobody in my family uh, who did science. But, and I'm a product of the Hawaii Public Schools, but there I encountered a wonderful chemistry teacher in 10th grade, Miss Wong, who taught us kids that science was about figuring things out, and I was captivated. And that really launched me on a journey of trying to understand the way that life works on a chemical level. Along the way, I encountered many uh, mentors and supporters and colleagues, some of whom are here today, that have been uh, an incredible uh, support for me over the years. Uh, and one of whom was Emmanuel Charpentier, who actually received, uh, was inducted into the Academy last night, and she became a collaborator of ours in 2011, where we began a research project aimed at understanding the chemistry of an enzyme called Cas9, figuring out how it worked, and once we did that, recognizing that this could be harnessed as a powerful tool for genome manipulation. So it's been a, a wonderful journey. We've had fantastic students and postdocs that have worked with us. I, I'd like to especially manage, uh, mention Martin Jinnick in my own laboratory, now at the University of Zurich, and Chris Chylinski, a student with Emmanuel who's now working in Vienna, who were fundamental to doing the work that we did as a collaboration. And finally, I'd like to acknowledge my husband, Jamie Kate, also a professor at UC Berkeley, and our son, Andy, the reason they're not here today is my son is home right now taking his AP chemistry test. Very fitting. <laughs> Good luck, Andy, and thank you.